Two months ago, we began our kitchen renovation, which is turning out to take just as long as every other renovation project we've done, exactly twice as long as estimated. Having said that, we're making good progress and with a bit of luck, I can start painting this week. In other news, I got the accessories needed to take the engine of the extractor unit and I'm a little worried because it came with these four instruction booklets. I think I know how to do it now because I read them carefully. And there are four screws and I need to carefully put them on the floor where I will never find them again. Here, this cable. In the instructions it says I need to cut this cable. The right cable. You know when I cut a cable, which is not the right cable. Good. I need to modify this unit so I can mount it inside the chimney. But I think first I have to do something with this cable. Schneiden Sie von den losen Drahtenden den roten Draht und zwei weiße Auffülldrähte ohne Drahtkern bis zur Kabelisolierung ab. Stellen Sie sicher, dass die Dunstaktus auf Ihrem Netzteil getrennt ist. Das Motorkabel befindet sich zwischen der eingebauten Deckeneinheit und der Motoreinheit. 37 mm. 37 mm, that's very precise. 37 mm. That's such an old measuring tape, you can't see anything. 1 through 3.7, that's about here. By the way, last week people complained that my flight would have been open. And that's not true. It does look like it's open, but it's not actually. It's just the trousers are broken. So the flight is actually shut. Why, why did you look at my crotch anyway? Poorly, Papa. I'm not poorly. Oh, I'm just a bit coughing, so are you. You're the poorly Papa. You're the poorly Papa. Don't call me poorly Papa. I'm just a little coffee poorly Papa. Poorly Papa. I followed the instructions perfectly, but before I install this and mount this inside the chimney, I want to test it. <sighs> Can you hear this? How can we call this if not a total success? Congratulations, Philip. Well done. Everybody was here to make fun of me when I failed with the plasterboarding, but do you see anybody in here to say, hey, Philip, well done? No, you don't, because there is nobody. I think this is exactly the definition of a hero. He does things silently. He doesn't wait for people to cheer him on. He's just doing things, because that's what he does. I'm touched by my own bravery and modesty. You too, I know. Thank you. I'm now going to mount the engine inside the chimney. I'm going to use what experts call a template. These are the holes that I have to drill. This is going to be inside the chimney like this and the drill is coming from here. I think you get the idea. For obvious reasons, I can't use this $150,000 camera that I normally use inside the chimney. So I'm now going to switch to chimney cam. So I do hope the vibrations don't make some stuff coming down from the chimney. So I'm trying the impossible now to film and to drill at the same time. Watch this. Oh, am I filming myself? Maybe. I'm gonna put a double in the wand. <laughs> so difficult with one hand because I have the audio camera on the other. engine. Now they can put two more screws in here. I don't think it's really necessary, but hey, why not? Really good. I'm really pleased. I'm going to need to cut this pipe now. Connect it up there, so I need to climb even deeper into the chimney. I'm going to do that tomorrow.
Philip, are you under a bit of pressure? I'm exhausted. <laughs> That's very clever. I would have cut it first and then cut it again because I would have made a mistake. But this way you get it right first time. Yeah. Happy? Yeah. 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 Philip, are you slacking? I'm, I'm, I just forgot the middle rope. <laughs> if you have to show me, it's not much fun. <laughs> Anna? Yeah? I need your help. Okay. Looking good, like the outfit. I see you've put on a new, a new look for me. Yeah, a new look for A new look today. Yeah, it's Balenciaga. <laughs> it's a new, it's a summer season 2022. <laughs> I also appreciate that you're wearing your rallies. Well, I'm working in the garden. I think so we're a good team today. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, there was an issue with the um, thing that you have in the middle of your body. Your belly button? The zip. The zipper. The zipper. <laughs> oh, the flies. The flies. The flies were broken. And, yeah. And people started commenting. Making, yeah, I got a lot of online hate for open flies. Okay. Right, let's get on. Okay. So I'm going to put it in place. This is not a permanent pen, though. Where's the permanent pen? I think that's all right. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Just needs to stay there for oh, sugar. What? I marked it with a non-permanent pen and now it's gone because I touched it. Where's the permanent pen I, I gave don't know. you? The crazy plasterboard guys have gone for a day and I'm completely exhausted. They really pushed me beyond my limits. If I don't finish these areas today, they will be back tomorrow, but they won't be able to plaster them. That would mean I have to do it by myself, and that would be a catastrophe. Ta-da, 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 done. I finished the chimney. Well, I finished with the plaster, but now the plasters can come. They will make that look nice. And then we are ready for tiling. Benoit is going to make the wooden frame around the chimney and then the range cooker comes and, and then we can start cooking here. So not too many steps before we're finished, but I'm yeah. Honestly, so impressed because I know it was pretty technical. I've seen, I was like even trying to figure out how you were going to attach it and you've made these little, these little openings up here so you can fix it on. I have one question for our dear followers. Yeah. I am hesitating in between putting two spotlights, one here and one here. Yeah. Obviously nice spotlights, not ugly ones, but mm -hmm. spotlights nevertheless, or putting uh, lights somewhere here, sticking out here okay. with an arm and here and here. Spotlight or wall mounted light. Please leave a comment and tell us what you think. Thank you. I finished everything. I did all the plasterboard. I put the boxes for the light switches and plug sockets in. And the only thing left to do is to clean this room, which will produce a very satisfying time lapse. A week of hard work. Final words of wisdom for this week. Get the professionals in. And I feel like you got a little mini tutorial in plasterboarding, didn't you, Philip? I did. So it did help because it was like, you know, we advanced on the work, but also you learned something and now you've improved your plasterboarding skills. 
No, I'm very proud and I'm really happy because it's starting to come together. Even if there's still lots to do, I'm feeling motivated now because I can start to see the finish line in sight. And what about you? I feel I've done more in this week than in the last month. I mean, I really feel like I have done more than in the last month in this week. <laughs> I'm really tired. <laughs> <laughs> and, I'm looking, and I'm looking forward to do some editing now. It's, it's relaxing compared to what I have to endure these last days. But I'm also happy. Because it starts to look like a room. Yep. Again. Again. <laughs> I'm almost finished with the prep work in the kitchen. I've been sanding the windows and the doors for the last three days. And Natom was amazing and he's helped me too. So I'm going to paint all of the woodwork with an oil-based primer in white. This is going to help for any of the kind of flaky parts to stick a little bit. Then I need to do another sand. So it should be hopefully really nice after that to apply my top coat paint. I'm really excited because we're finally getting to a phase where we're going to start to see a difference. There was, looks like paper stuffed down the back because this is a cupboard here. And oh. I think there's some more in there as well. Look. That looks fairly old. Eight franc. Oh, Treasure. I think it looks like nine. It's definitely 19th century. Something about asthma. Bondage. Bondage. Oh, I think it's an adult magazine. Huh? Sterilité de la femme. Interesting. Okay. If you can't get children. I was hoping for a treasure map. Yeah. So I continued because there was more paper and I just wanted to see and come here and have a look at this. March 16th, 1875. Do you know what the date is today? March the 16th. No way. No, I'm not kidding. Exactly 147 years ago that paper was published. Exactly to the day. Isn't that weird? I feel like that's a bit spooky. And that means that this newspaper was most likely read by Mary Lee. And if you want to know who Mary Lee is, then you've got to go and have a look at our Patreon. Because we have begun a massive research into the history of the chateau and we are sharing our findings with our Patreons first. Oh, what do you think? Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's looking very white. <laughs> but it looks clean. It looks fantastic. Yeah. It looks very white, of course, but oh my gosh, it's so much progress in these last couple of days. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now I have to quickly take up the protection off the floor because the masons are back and they're going to finish the grouting. And then I'm going to have to re-protect the floor to be able to finish the painting. So we're not, as always, we are not sticking to a normal organized schedule that would be logical. <laughs> so I have two minutes to take it off, but that guys is another story. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. For exclusive videos and behind the scenes updates, have a look at our Patreon page. Thank you so much for watching.